Well, are we ready? Are we what interesting uh, p p feature, of course, is that the uh, person that was in the lead at the end of the day last round has won the second race and the runner-up has won the first race. So will it be the same in the MX1? That means that uh, if the same pattern continues, this is Dean's turn now to win. Wow, this could be so different. But so remembering the one-point uh, deficit of Cody's has turned into a two-point advantage at the moment. So number one... Cody Cooper has a two-point advantage over letter D, Dean Ferris. So uh, it's all down to a nail-biter. This is uh, a good moto penultimate for this class, of course. Uh, here we are, ready to build up on the McDonald's start line. The uh, noise goes up. Beautiful uh, clean drop of the gate. It's the line down on the inside. Red from uh, green looks to be up there. All red from red. And uh, I think that's the way. Might be Todd. Might be Todd Waters. Todd Waters, and unfortunately I understand that uh, Todd's feeling a little ailed at the moment, not feeling in the best of health here today, which may be a reflection of his uh, a poorer performance earlier on. So uh, certainly uh, wish him all the best for a speedy recovery, one of the all-round nice Aussies that we've had here for New Zealand Moto. So uh, all the best to uh, Todd, and uh, maybe an idea that uh, he'd uh, certainly not been performing to the best of his ability. Looks to be the uh, Dean Ferris advantage, though, at the moment. Is that different gear for Dean out there at the moment? He does uh, change his uh, gear significantly throughout the day, not uh, the same colours that he's been wearing. Looks to be the uh, lighter-coloured bike, though. Here we are now with the advantage. Look at that, and there it is, Waters to go up through on the inside of him, looking sharp through there. So there it is, Todd Waters looking to try and get up. I think it might be Todd. Yes, Todd's regained it, did hold it, lost it, regained it. Aussie, Aussie out in front. In fact, uh, looking at that for the uh, Yamaha, we can certainly see there at the moment as well in that uh, third place. In fact, that might be Dean's gear. That might be Dean's gear. Who have we got here at the moment? We'll get a better idea. Maybe one of these is Kane, is it? One of these is Kane, is it? The 94. Uh, where's the uh, D? D looks to be the one back there in the third place. There was a red plate holder. Pretty sure it's back there. So it was Dean back there. Uh, uh, hopefully that was the 94 of Kane Lamont. That's our prediction anyway now. When we saw the Yamaha, thought that it might have been the other way around. So how good was that when he was in second, then went for the lead? Great bit of moto. And uh, here we are at the moment. So it is... Uh, in fact, that is uh, Cody out there, and then looking back, the uh, other Honda is uh, not a, a letter. A, a letter T is way back, way back, way back. So it is Cody. It is Cody. It is Cody. Come on, here we go. It's a Kiwi Kiwi. We're on board at the moment. So here we go with the number one. God, just when he threw us out of line, we've noticed uh, Todd's been wearing the uh, Hydra's uh, helmet, and uh, here we got now with Cody wearing the helmet as well. So. Uh, Unsure what we're uh, seeing there, get the confirmation, definitely the number one, there it is, Cody, Cody out there, let a D to go past, D94, it's in that order, D's got past, D's got past, D is up there, so, and the uh, look there coming from Kane, the Mott, what a moment from Kane, come on, tell both supporters, the man from Manga Keto, Kane, a uh, lot. Out and a flying good ride back here in the third place at the moment. Did lead the race for a short length of time. But it is a Cody Cooper show. Coop's out there as well at the moment. As we watch Dean Ferris on attack at the moment. Remember, two points back. If Dean can win this one, we'll level the score and go back to the one-pointer in his favour for the uh, final race a little later on. Remember what we talked about before, the uh, second race of the day for both the MX2 and the 125s had favoured the... Uh, rider leading by uh, points uh, into the round. Just took a little bit of time, a bit of nerves, and missed out on the first motor, but fought back for the second. Will this be the case for Dean Ferris? But it is a Cody advantage. So Cody looking good. It was a Cody Kane battle that we were watching earlier on when I uh, saw the uh, uh, Yamaha two and two together, and we missed the mark. But uh, now that we've uh, got it confirmed, that is uh, Kane back there in the third place at this stage. So brilliant bit of moto from the uh, rising uh, Altherm Window Systems uh, superstars. Look at that for Altherm Window System JCR Yamaha. Second and a third place, but it is the Honda Racing Team and uh, Cody Cooper out in front, riding it red, keeping it straight, keeping it true. Out in front at this stage, New Zealand versus Australia ahead of uh, New Zealand. And then looking back to, uh, maybe is that uh, letter S and Stike back in there? Now, did not see the letter uh, T, understand that uh, he's uh, really suffered uh, with a... Uh, a bit of a bug and a bit of a setback, and I don't see him, I don't see him on those results. So, uh, Todd, if you are out there, mate, that is uh, sad indeed. In fact, he's down as a DNS, he is down as a DNS, did not start, did not start. Our uh, thoughts with Todd, uh, Waters, Todd, you haven't come all the way, just for some uh, lovely taupo weather and a jump on the bungee or ride on the jet boat or a fish out in the lake. You've come to uh, win glory, and unfortunately it won't be yours today, but, mate, it's been an honour to have you with us again. Look forward to seeing you back on our New Zealand race tracks for many good years to come. Todd Waters, ladies and gentlemen, this is out on a chance. Here we are. One in front with Cody Cooper. D to go with Dean Ferris. 1D, 94, Kate Lamont. S for Scott. Number 1-2 for Carter. 101 for BT out there. 
414 on this fly as well. 79 for BG and Brad Groombridge out there. And it's uh, BG looking to be the uh, a sharp uh, flyer out of that little uh, trio of uh, riders. Tell you what, he's certainly got to know that he's uh, got a charge on. He's got uh, JD, Jesse D, uh, uh, Jesse Dobson out there to uh, keep him uh, very honest as well at the moment. So, wow. When you've got that kind of company you're keeping, it's great to see 903 Liam Harnett, 585 back to uh, 394 uh, Richard Horn as well, and a 64. Oh no, Hamish Klaus and cruising, cruising, cruising. Am I right? The back end of that bike does not look right. The back end of that bike does not look right. And in fact, I think he's going high side, I think he's going pit side, I think it could be a withdrawal. The back end of the bike does not look right to me. And it may be. Uh, Maybe just the way I was looking at it, did not look right, and he certainly wasn't right. And there is uh, Hamish Clausen pulling out of the moto. That is, in fact, I think that might be the first uh, moto that he's uh, DNF'd in the series. So that will be bad luck indeed. Hopefully, all is rectifiable for our final moto of the day and a last hurrah and a great swan song for uh, Hamish in this uh, championship. Came in with so many uh, credentials after a fantastic uh, Woodville GP. Uh, back at the Honda event at uh, Manawa 2 in uh, January of this year, but unfortunately just hasn't been able to keep it together for the uh, Motocross Nationals. Back to our race, one in front, then from D. Look at the example that they've pulled out here. Look at this from the 94 of Kane Lamont. Man, he could do well by running with these guys, seeing what they're doing at their speed, learning how to ride it. Look what he's doing down here through the sawdust. Looking superb, 94 of Kane Lamont. So there we go. One year front runner, Cody Cooper from D, Dean Ferris. Cody on fire here today. Now back to 94. Came them on an exceptional uh, third place. Go back to uh, Cartwheel in there. Stike. So uh, Cartwheel's got in front of Stike. Into the BT. Uh, looking out there uh, next. And go to uh, Dobson. It's Dobson here at the moment. And behind uh, the flying uh, BT. Here he goes. JD. Jesse Dobson. JD on the bike. 414 on the shirt on the back. Dobson's number. He's got his uh, race shirt on. On the Honda Racing a Bike 79 for Greg Groombridge. Get to see a parts and service is limited. Right here at Tampa Groombridge Refrigeration. Six to go past the number. Well, there you go. There's the number one now. I did not expect to see Hamish Harwood with that uh, MX2 title sitting on a reasonably fine edge at 11 points. I didn't expect to see him out for this race, but to his courage, to his endeavours, to his efforts, he's back out there again. He'll be in Australia for the opening round of the Australian Championship next weekend. He's our main flight uh, Aussie rider, so uh, wishing him all, all the best for that campaign for this year. So, uh, big uh, hand out there to uh, Hamish Harwood, ladies and gentlemen. So, Hamish, hopefully to continue his excellence in Australia and riding two classes and the 252 stroke and the 302 stroke so uh, trying to do what uh, no other Australasian rider is doing in the Australian Champs for 2017 it's uh, two classes on uh, two different bikes outside of the characteristic motorcycles of that class All right, looking out for uh, one by uh, D at the moment and it's one for uh, uh, Cody increasing that advantage. Uh, Cody looking better. Look at that. He pulls a bit of a, a buffer out there. Going this time. Cody Cooper in a 203.9, 203.9. Down through the sawdust we go. Man, Dean looks so good down through there. Just how quick is that on the Alpine Window System JCR Yamaha? But it's the uh, Honda Racing. So Cody Cooper out in front at the moment for Coops as he uh, goes flying. The Alpine Star Hero leads the pack at the moment. Speaking of Alpine Star, of course, the Alpine Star proud to be taking our two uh, New Zealand Alpine Star heroes, Cody Cooper and Reese Carter, to the United States of America next month for the opening two rounds of the AMA Motocross. Wishing this man and his uh, fellow uh, Bay of Plenty race mate all the best as we go for it at the moment. One in front. Then looking out to a letter D, back to 94. Caden Lamont, what a positive way to be finishing the championship. He's in front of Cartwheel at the moment. 101 for BT. A JD out there, Jesse Dobson from the letter S of Luke Stoick. He's the uh, third Australian in the race, fourth overall in the uh, field today, but unfortunately no start for Todd Waters. He's had to, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, give up lunch and tea and breakfast and everything else. So uh, our thoughts with uh, Todd, but... Uh, as we said, Todd, it's been an honour to have uh, you with us again and all the best for your racing future. Wish you all the best for the up-and-coming Aussie campaign. Let's get all that kind of uh, nasties out of the way and uh, wish him all the best for a uh, next weekend opening round uh, in Australia in the uh, spectacular uh, Australian Championships.
The old 21 the distinctive sound on the beautiful Honda CR500 and Mr. Daryl King out there. 21, folks, 21 is the bike number. And uh, DK riding their big 500. He did a one-off ride in the MX2 at uh, Manawa 2 as well on the uh, Yamaha YZ250. So he's loving his two strokes for this championship. So one round on a MX1 bike, one round on MX2 bike. Our former number two in the world, uh, Daryl King, of course, uh, a world veteran uh, motocross champion as well at over 40 years of age. Our hero of uh, motocross, winning uh, more MX2 titles than anybody else in the history of the sport. The legend that is Daryl King. Uh, Done 712, and there we are. Look at that from uh, Cody, Cody, Cody. Come on, I think your support's making a bit of a difference, folks. Be love a little bit more. Come on, when he goes past, so you got your hat off. Are you ready to give it a twirl? Come on, get your t shirts flying, get your flags flying. We've got Aussie flags flying here today, not too many New Zealand flags. It is all on for the Cody Cooper show. He's looking impressive. There we go at the moment. Uh, 10 17, 10 17. So around halfway through the motor at this stage. 18 minutes plus the lap to cover the championship race duration. The penultimate race. Three in Timaru, three in Rotorua, three in Manua 2. And this is the uh, second of three here at Taupo in the feature final today. The 2017 uh, Mazda VT50 supported dirt rider down under the New Zealand Championship brought to us here in Taupo by uh, Penny Homes at pennyhomes.co.nz. Penny Homes, uh, Homes of Distinction. And uh, worthy of distinction for sure. And remembering uh, uh, more new homes developments than any other developer in the Taupo region where it all started here. Penny Homes, get them behind them as uh, uh, we uh, love to uh, support what uh, JP does for our sport. Bring it home with Penny Homes. Number eight and Kieran Shield out there as well. Well, the Cody Cooper show is just impenetrable today. Outstanding. The Gladiator, the Force, the Castle. Give him all the names and all the credits because he's putting it all together today. Brilliant run over Energy Centre Point. Here comes the Dean Ferris show. There's a lapper in between them, but I'll tell you what, just when it comes to putting it on, Cody just seems to be able to pull that little bit rougher. You just get the idea that Dean Ferris closes the gap down. Remembering, of course, that last year it was all on for the feature final. The... Uh, a mistake had been made by uh, Ferris earlier in the series and uh, wasn't able to uh, fight his way back. But uh, And it came to the moto that counted. Cody put it all together and it's come to do exactly that today. The moto that counted was the first one. He was one point behind. He won that. He's now two points in front of him. He wins this. He now goes five in front. But winning still a long way off. The man behind him is his... Uh, uh, Nemesis in Dean Ferris for Alto Window Systems, JCR, Yamaha and a hot rocking uh, show out here now. But uh, Cody Cooper uh, looking the uh, man of the moment for sure. It looks uh, uh, bulletproof and uh, absolutely determined. Look at that. Power to the max. The strength, the performance, it all gets together. 28, Stephen uh, uh, Gibson, he says, hey, uh, Dean Ferris, you can go past me. I don't mind, I'll hold my line on the inside. There's the 94 for Kane Lamont. What a motor today for this man, ladies and gentlemen. Kane Lamont finishing on a high. And I think it'll be the uh, confidence booster to realise that he can say he's the second of best New Zealander in MX1 racing. His results will show otherwise for the series overall, but a way to finish, and I'm sure he's only going to grow and mature from that. So I look for more things to come from this man, and I'm sure to grow into the bike and into the championship. So uh, bring it on with a great run indeed. Two down here for uh, Team Ashton and uh, 706 is Team Ashton as well. The two brothers uh, racing Suzuki out of uh, Hawke's Bay. Great to see. There's the 10 of Roy and White for courtesy of Moto uh, Revolution and the uh, Kawasaki KXF 450 today. The 918 down here today is uh, Cullen May on the uh, Yamaha New Zealand. Uh, O'Neill with TX, TCX, uh, Mitchell and Oakley, BikesportNZ.com, Kiwi Rider, Rental Construct now, uh, City Electrics, uh, YZ450F. So, uh, Cullen, good, nice to have you with us. One of New Zealand's uh, top riders in off road racing. Here 
Here we go, one for Cody, one for Cody. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we are, here we are. And uh, keen to watch now. Z to come past with the Z. Watch the margin, watch the margin. Here we go. The old 94 for Kane, what a result, what a result, Kane tonight, loving every bit of that, go Kane, he's got uh, Reese Carfield Carter on his tail, but I tell you what, uh, wants to make sure that he can stay in front of me, had that superb start, he nudged with the lead, uh, lead a couple of times on that opening lap before getting overtaken firstly by Cody, but then remembering he took Cody back before being re-overtaken by Cody, then this uh, Altherm Window Systems JCR teammate, and uh, Steve Ferris uh, went back past him. He's uh, stayed in third place, the worst that he's done in this moto. So uh, great to see a first, a second, and a third placing so far within the race. And uh, now he finds the other riders getting it around him. A lot more experience there in uh, MX1 racing by the likes of uh, Reese Carter and certainly uh, uh, Brad Groombridge and uh, Ben Townley. So uh, quality ride from uh, Kane Lamont at the stage. So uh, Kane, I'm sure, will be keen to. Uh, Keep it up and keep it out right. So, looking at it. One still your race leader. D in second place. Then it's a significant gap back. And you look for a moment at those uh, riders, but because of the uh, speed they're going past, you think of the distance between them, but it's actually when you count it by uh, a seconds, there's not a lot of time in there. So it's only a minor mistake to any one of those to uh, change this result. Keen to see now how they're able to... Uh, Step up and we'll step it up and out in style. Looking out for it. Uh, still one to run through the sawdust. Look at that from Ferris. What a great lap. What a great lap. That's been by Ferris. I tell you what, he's made some moves over that lap. There's our comparison point. As we see Cody whipping it up over uh, Liam Harnett. Liam keeping his line, but it's uh, Cody. I tell you what, now Dean Ferris, that is a scintillating lap. Scintillating lap. Knows the point to do it. This is great to watch. Here we are, the 903. Here we go with Ferris, beautiful leap down here off Aero Helmets and through towards the uh, lap score line. Wow, how was that? Was that a fast lap? No, it hasn't changed, it's still the 203. But I tell you what, he must have reduced the margin, surely. Key to watch out, 2.7, 2.7 seconds, first to second place. Nothing in this one. A two-point buffer at the moment at the front of the field with Cody Cooper over Dean Ferris after moto number one. He went into the day one point behind. He's made up a three points, so he's gone from one behind to two up. And if he can win this one, it'll give him a, a five-up advantage. But on the other hand, if he loses it, he goes back to being one behind with just one moto to run. So anything to happen will be a nail-biter. But with three, it means that he can finish in, third, sorry, uh, finish in second place and not lose the title finishing in third we'll have to go to countbacks to sort that one out unsure where we'd be for that so uh, we don't want that position at all but just putting the uh, a series of uh, risk averse measures in place to see uh, how we're going to see uh, cody at the top of his game the number one rider and the man who pushed him all the way last year a lot of people say, well, some, somebody's faster or more consistent, so they're the champion. The champion is the one that gets the most points in the end, no matter how you get there. And that's certainly been the case for Cody. And here he is with a two-point advantage at this stage. So uh, brilliant to watch in the run through now. Cody, Dean, what sort of lap are we going to get from Dean? It's the Dean Ferris show. Look at that. Somebody else who knows it. There's a great motor going on there. Says, I'll get right out of your way, guys. That, in fact, is uh, Team Ashton. I think that was David. David Ashton, nice sport, David. Brother James and David to Team Ashton out of uh, Bay Motorcycles. Lindsay Farm Raw Milk, a Franklin Engineer in Competition Suspension Technology, Armand Engine Developments, and uh, Black Duck. So, uh, love you, boys. Team Ashton, great family endeavours there at James and David. Hey, great to watch in our lineup this time. The uh, 217, 217 to line up. And here we are, uh, one by D, one by D. And a white flag, a white flag is here. One lap to run. And look at this from Ferris. Oh, Ferris, Ferris. The wheel is spinning. The Ferris wheel is spinning. He's on attack at the moment. And that uh, margin, we talked about it before, at uh, 2.7. And that is at the moment, uh, oh, 2.8, 2.8. Well, I thought it might have been uh, reduced, but in fact, it has been slightly increased. Still a lap there at a 203.915 by uh, Cody, the fastest lap on the racetrack. When you think that these qualify at under two minutes, but when it comes to racing, they're doing them at over two. It gives you an idea that you can do a one lap wonder, a bit like the sprint race, the Usain Bolt, and getting a very fast one a lap in. Whereas when it comes to racing, you've got to do the 18 minutes plus the lap. 
So it's a, uh, a serious amount of uh, race duration to uh, cover at the moment. So here we are. That is uh, nine laps done. Nine laps for our race leader. So it'll be a 10 lap performance. Will this be the uh, five pointer that he wants? It means that if he goes into the last race for some reason, if he finishes in second place, he can still take the title. Will Honda retain their number one position in New Zealand motocross. They've won it for so long. When did another brand last win? New Zealand MX1 between Cody Cooper and Ben Townley. They've been uh, uh, winning this for a long time now. So uh, great to see the Honda rain continue as we go to uh, Cody. Dean on attack at the moment with a lap to run. He put in that scintillating lap in the, uh, uh, the previous uh, a full lap, but he hasn't quite been able to do the same. It's as if he out sprinted himself, but he's just dropped there a little bit at the moment. You can count as well. Thousand and one, thousand and two, thousand three. We've gone to over three. We've gone to over three seconds. So come on, Kiwis. What about it? Can Machia coming up the damn straight this time? Let's hear it. Yes, for Cody. Cody on attack this time. Great to watch another good sport moving right out of the way there. That's our uh, 98. Thank you very much. But here we go, folks. Here we go. And it is with uh, Cody. There we go. Number one, number one. And here he goes, Cody, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way. Still a moto to go. And it's not over yet, but it is Cody. Yes, fist in the air. He knows it. He knows it. That's excitement. He really shows it. And he knows it from there. That is incredible. So Cody Cooper increases the advantage. And an absolutely brilliant moto. He scored six more points today. So being one negative, he's now five positive. And he has uh, done another incredible moto. Here we go with the 94 of uh, Kane Lamont. So uh, well done to Kane. A sensational uh, moto, which has seen him finish up in a very good third place. Wow, that is an awesome third. By far his best result in the championship so far. Look out, folks. Kane Lamont is coming his debut year in New Zealand MX1 racing. There's a whole lot of riders that go MX1 racing and struggle to make the top 10. This man's here in a fight to be putting it together for a very, very good. Uh, uh, third place at the moment, so exceptional to see. We're going to be.